know about this, we have two, count them, not one, but two doctors to help us. These are real medical doctors, not just a doctor of philosophy like moi, but a real doctor, doctors, two. <laughs> now that we did all of that, let's, uh, let's start with Dr. Sultan. Salam alaikum. Now, Dr. Sultan, how are you? How is everything going? Alhamdulillah, can't be anything better. By the grace of God, everything is going, going quite well. And thank you to Allah Ta'ala for all the blessings. Okay. Well, uh, St. Louis is okay? MashaAllah is, is okay. It's, it's very hot. You don't want to be here in St. Louis. But I know you're going to be there, no matter how much I warn you. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't miss a chance to see you and yeah. all the brothers and sisters there. So yeah, we're definitely going to be there with you guys. Inshallah. 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 Okay. Well, now let's bring in Doctor Adol. There he is. Mashallah. Wa alaikum salam. Rahmatullahi barakatuh. How are you, Doctor? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah. Do you we have to thank Allah enough, you God. know, for everything and, you know, all the blessings that we have. You know, it's always good to thank God. Yes, and that's absolutely the truth. I was just talking to my son-in-law about how we, uh, how much I appreciate the many things that Allah has done in my life and made things so uh, amazing for me mashallah even before islam i was seeing things doing things that uh, uh i hope allah will give some credit for that anyway uh, let's Amen. let's ask you we, we want to ask you doctor what is the latest about this uh, uh, this covid business uh, what what okay what do we need thank to you know? so much couple of things that uh, I believe that everybody should be aware of uh, as you go um, and uh, share with everybody. This is um, uh, straight from the Wall Street Journal about the vaccines offer significant protection against COVID-19 Delta variant in the UK. Now, a lot of people don't know what Delta, you know, Delta is in Egypt, <laughs> but this is the new version of the uh, coronavirus called Delta uh, variant uh, and it's apparent in the UK and it's uh, you know so far the data on it is get more um, contagious in, in terms of uh, spreading uh, and infectivity uh, uh, but uh, the vaccines that uh, that are operational uh, you know are showing significant protection um, you know in the order of 70 to 90 percent uh, range so uh, this is a you know uh, there is a you know way that you cannot catch appearance and many changes will go back to square one, which is what improve and enhance and strengthen the immune system. That will be long term sustainability. Now, because I get a lot of calls from around the globe in COVID and the heart, and I know this uh, this particular uh, uh, brother said about his sister. Uh, in Alexandria, not Virginia, Alexandria, Egypt. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, she had some chest pain after being tested with COVID. And uh, now they did what's called the heart enzymes. This is important for everyone, everyone around the globe. Um, and it was elevated, you know, it's called troponin. Um, and when that troponin um, is leaked from the heart and, uh, and it detected in the bloodstream that indicates what we call myocardial injury or injury to the heart muscle. And that's how we diagnose heart attacks. But in COVID in particular, it comes due to different mechanism. It's not due to the blockage of the coronary arteries. It is due to the small blood clots that comes in and maybe obstruct the small blood vessels in the branches and that cause that minimal elevation of the troponin. Sometimes it can cause inflammation of the heart muscles called myocarditis. The bottom line is people should, you know, properly consider the, the uh, now that we have technologies to detect um, yeah, that, uh, and it's called CT angio or the heart scan. The heart scan didn't, can tell if there's blockages or not in the, in the heart arteries without going into the invasive route, which is very costly 
and has very high risk of strokes and you know and and um, and damage uh, to uh, to the blood vessels and so on or in terms of tear uh, and uh, you know that we have this non-invasive technology it's it's a cat scan basically you um, you give the the contrast uh, in the vein and then the, the the machine will come and get those slices of the heart and reconstruct the image so you'll have a, a nice way to look into the coronary arteries uh, without actually going in and I'll tell you right then and there well, if there's blockages or not uh, because most of these cases are not related to blockages uh, and I know people get they get panicky and scared and uh, they go into oh I have a heart attack and this and that uh, after recently tested for uh, for COVID I'm telling people to save tons of money unnecessarily being spent for unnecessary procedures that may have uh, a lot of uh, unwarranted risks and cost and now that we we can have other um, remedies uh, and technology that will give it the same information without hurting the patient uh, or exposing patient to a higher uh, risk of um, of uh, you know complications unnecessarily and also high cost uh, of the procedures unnecessarily this will be the way to go and based on the involvement of the heart muscle itself and, and if there's weakness or not then we can uh, adjust the therapy accordingly. So number one, don't be scared, um, you know, for, for everyone who has this, you know, blood test about the heart enzymes and it's elevated. In the setting of COVID, you have to interpret it in the right direction. And then, of course, uh, you know, a, a little therapy like a baby aspirin should be very helpful, but also do this heart scan will give a definitive uh, answer to what's going on. Uh, Sometimes this um, leak uh, of uh, enzymes can uh, can be of a major concern. A lot of people, especially with the inflammation of the muscle of the heart, uh, that can leak those uh, those enzymes in a small uh, amount. Uh, but I believe um, you know uh, the heart will heal after the initial infection, and most of the cases you know uh, improve. Some of them you know linger longer than than others, but um, you know. Uh, I wanted to really, really point out this to people so people don't panic and go into, you know, uh, basically, uh, you know, sell the barn and, and lose their shirt over this, you know, abnormal blood test that may or may not uh, warrant, uh, you know, to have this. And it could be simple, uh, non-invasive uh, way to find out the exactly what's happening in the, in the heart arteries and the muscle and address that accordingly and save all the high risk complications and also the high cost involved. MashaAllah. Uh, doctor, are you at the hospital now? No, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not at the hospital. Uh, but I wanted to, uh, to share this with everyone because I'm getting all these um, you know, uh, frantic phone calls and, and, and people from all over, actually, um, you know, about what does this mean? What is, the, what do we should do about it? What we, um, uh, we have to go and, and uh, get to an intensive care unit, for instance, and so on, and they feel fine. And they're, they're walking, talking, there is no really, um, you know, anything that would warrant that. So I tell people, take a deep breath, relax, no need for an anxiety unnecessarily. And uh, this is one way that we can find the information in a, in a nice way, not invasively. Uh, and then because there's also economic devastation that comes with all this huge cost for, uh, you know, these tests. And um, in, now that we can get the information uh, with this new technology and save tons of money um, uh, and also have non-invasive, so much, 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 much less risks compared to the invasive route, that, that will really do a great service to people. All right. Yeah, I was wondering, I had some questions. <clears throat> you know, I was wondering that our government has been uh, very uh, gracious to get, uh, provide us with the free vaccination. And I was wondering if it will cover the uh, expenses associated with complications uh, associated uh, with COVID or just uh, COVID if vaccine is free and the rest is on you. You know, this is, uh, you know, a, a really, you know, when you look at uh, longer haulers, especially whether it's mental 
whether it's physical, you know, this is part of it. Uh, the the um, the fogging of the brain, the the shortness of breath, the chest pain that could be part of it. Do this inflammation of the of the of the muscle of the heart or weakness of the muscle of the heart that comes from direct um, uh, you know attack from the coronavirus on the heart muscle. All these things could last for a while. Renal kid, uh, kidney could be involved with kidney failure. Uh, there's not a single organ uh, could be basically um, free from uh, uh, getting uh, damaged by coronavirus. Um, and uh, I believe there's a certain category of people that need help, especially uh, with the cost and the care uh, that that's you know that that lingers for a long time. And we know unless and until you build the immune system, you know, and make it strong. The people get, get reinfection and reinfection and, and more devastation and more complication and it's just going to be a, a vicious cycle yeah see that 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 i that i understand but what i'm saying is vaccination is free but the complication associated with vaccine for example the patient comes with high treponin who's going to pay for that patient have to pay or if if the physician decides to do some additional tests like ct heart and stuff like that will it be on the patient or will it be uh uh, if they have the, if they have insurance insurance should pick it up if they don't they have to pay out of pocket that's the that's the name of the game as you know uh, all across the board regardless covid or non covid but I'm, I'm i'm only trying to educate the public and educate people about this you know uh, option um, especially if people oh you have to go to the icu and, and and this and that and then every day you know how much it costs um, and, and people go and, and borrow money to, to just to go uh, and, and have these things, thinking that, um, you know, uh, this is the only way to go. Well, you know what? Now there is another uh, choice that is safer and cheaper and, uh, you know, can get the same information. And uh, this information then will help, you know, to, to uh, basically tailor the therapy to each and every one if they have uh, and ended up with, um, you know, congestive heart failure because of the heart muscle got weakened or have cardiomyopathy from coronavirus, then you can adjust that. Uh, if it's going to be, you know, long-term inflammation, then, you know, start to the, the uh, non-harmful um, anti-inflammatory, like we discussed, the uh, turmeric and, and black seed and so on, because, and, and build up the immunity. Because there is there is nothing else out there. Uh, people should, should not be treated with steroids because it will really uh, make things worse. Um, you know, uh, for the patient, um, uh, unless they have, uh, you know, respiratory compromise in their ICU on a ventilator and intubated and so on. So everything has to be really, 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 um, you know, cautiously and, uh, treated with, with guidelines and it has to be specific so that people uh, don't get what they don't need and end up with added side effects on top of the coronavirus. Very good. Thank you. I hope I <laughs> answered your question. <laughs> yes, you did. I guess I, that's what I wanted to bring up the point. You know, you can get it thing for free, but the rest is on you. So that's I just wanted to bring that. Uh, There's no free lunches anymore, as yeah. you know. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so that's a correct thing. I'm sure the chef knows about it. No free lunches anymore. Yeah. I was uh, a vegetarian for about uh, almost two years. And I made a lot of salads, and uh, we didn't have much cooked food. We, we just were eating stuff that raw, uh, raw food, or is what they used to call it. I don't know what they call it now, but uh, I tried that at like 60, I'm talking about 60 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that was real strange back then. If you, somebody said, uh, well, I have you know, come on over, we're going to have bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich, yeah, BLT, you know, and uh, we'd say, oh, I'm sorry, we don't eat meat. What? You don't eat meat? What? How do you live? Uh, you're going to die. <laughs> but uh, there are a lot of people on this planet that never had any meat in their life. Uh, the Hindu folks, a lot of them are very strict on their diet they eliminate anything meat and that now there's people that don't want any kind of dairy product at all they won't even drink milk or cheese now i'm going to ask them how do you live 
you know now there is uh, this yeah. new uh, I can't believe it uh, the the new type of plant based um, you know chicken or beef. Uh, it's not it's not really meat, but it's all plant based and uh, it tastes very good and it's very healthy. My kids love it. You know they they, they buy it all the time and uh, you know I don't know if you tried it or not. Uh, you know uh, these new versions uh, where you can just have you know uh, it's, it's, there's no meat in there whatsoever. It's all plant based. Uh, you know, like uh, you could have uh, uh, in the form of burgers. Um, uh, there's some of them are chicken, some of them uh, they they feel taste exactly like like meat, but they're not they're not they're not beef. So um, plant based. Uh, plant yes, this is becoming very popular. They start serving it now with like in Burger King and so on. It's replacing meat uh, be, and replacing obviously pork. And uh, you know it's getting very very popular, you know, uh, and it, you can tell the difference, you know, and and the taste unless you know what's in in the box when you cook. It's very yes. interesting. It, yes. Yeah, you know, you brought up the subject of raw meat. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, raw uh, vegetables. That is very very important concept. I'll tell you what the benefits of uh, that are. You know. Uh, the uh, concept, you see, if the food was just vitamins and minerals, you could eat uh, vitamin and minerals, you don't have to cook all the food and all the stuff, go through all the hassle. But in addition to the basic nutrients, food also has a very important ingredient, and those are various live enzymes. You see, uh, if, 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 fresh food is full of all the uh, uh, live enzymes. Now that brings the subject of eating the live food versus the dead food. What's the difference between live food and dead food? I'll give you an example. Let's say you, you, uh, you take an apple, okay? You squeeze it, it's, it's not only vitamin and minerals, but it also has a lot of enzymes in it. If you leave that on the table for 15 minutes, all the enzymes get destroyed by the process called oxidation. They get destroyed. So now you're left with just sugar and water, which doesn't have uh, all that. Okay. Yes. You have a call. Salam alaikum. Alhamdulillah, how are you, sister? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you so much for asking. I just had a question for the doctors. Oh, please, go ahead. So, um, I recently had gastric bypass surgery, the real why, in December, and um, was taking all of the supposedly necessary vitamins that I need to take I did recently get my COVID vaccine, um, both doses of the Pfizer, and my mother is coming up to visit me um, tomorrow, actually, for the week. She is on full-time oxygen. So when we go out, because I've had both vaccines, still mask up and take precautions. Uh, okay. okay, you say that you had both uh, both vaccines. If you have both vaccines and it's been about uh, two three weeks, then uh, then you are protected. And again, you know, um, you you should do. Uh, I mean, you can go out. You can go to the uh, restaurant, preferably if if the outside is better than inside. But uh, if uh, outside option is not available, then. Okay, inside with uh, uh, some uh, distancing uh, should uh, should be okay. And uh, uh, you didn't tell me whether your mother is vaccinated or not. You see, because she should be, uh, uh, she should be vaccinated also. Then at least both of you are uh, protected at least from uh, each other and also uh, from uh, people uh, who uh, who have been vaccinated. So the vaccinated people 
uh, can very easily intermingle with the vaccinated people. The only problem is when you're out in the public, you do not know who is vaccinated and who is not uh, vaccinated, except uh, if it's in a gathering, then uh, uh, they can be, people can be frank and honestly say that, yes, I am and I am not. So that, uh, that way you can take uh, proper uh, uh, appropriate uh, actions. So basically, if you and your mother are uh, vaccinated, then I think it's okay. Yeah, I'm she going actually to... has been vaccinated. Dr. Sultan, thank you so much. Um, she's actually been vaccinated for roughly a month now or so. She had both of her Moderna shots. Um, okay. So when we realized that she was going to come up and visit, uh, me and my husband actually got both of the Pfizer shots vaccinated as well, um, just to protect us also. Um, so I just wanted okay. to make sure that... Um, everything would be okay. All right, great, wonderful, wonderful. All right, uh, I think we have another caller too, sister, um, uh, if that's okay. Is there any other question you'd like to ask? No, thank you. Um, thank you guys so much for coming on on Mondays and Tuesdays. We watch every single night, I'm super, super excited still learning. Um, I have gotten hooked up with a couple of sisters um, here in the mosque, just being a new one, and um, it's amazing. You guys are wonderful, and we're very blessed to uh, get to talk to you guys and see you every week. MashaAllah. Thank you, sisters, so much. We're back, and we've been on the air taking phone calls. If you'd like to call in the 1-800-971-4383, we do have a caller on the phone right now. Caller, what is your name and where are you located? My name is Jamel Awad. Okay. I, I live in Jersey. Uh, I'm sorry, what, what Jersey. state? In New Jersey? I live in New Jersey. Ah, oh, okay. All right, mashallah. Do you have a question for the doctor tonight? What? Do, do you have a question for the doctor? Yeah, every day my, my head hurts. Not now, but sometimes my head hurts. This is, okay. Assalamu alaikum, Jamal Habibi. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Okay, so it hurts in the front part. Uh, like above the eyes or below the eyes or in the hurts in the back of the, of the head or on the sides of the head. Where does it hurt most? I used to get CAT scans in Jersey City and my head. CAT scans in Linden. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, you did have that. You know, the things that in order, you know, go from sinus uh, problems to infections, um, to you know something in the you know inside the the, the brain that could be causing this, whether it's aneurysm or a mass, uh, or you simply need to have an eye exam and you need to you know maybe have uh, a reading glass, prescription glasses, so you don't have to strain your eyes and that by itself can cause headache. The bottom line is you need to see a neurologist. Yeah. Well, Neurologist, the bottom, and they, top my head. yes, sometimes it hurts, sometimes it doesn't. Yes, and sometimes it could be stress related, Habibi. Also, uh, I'm just tr trying to, you know, say uh, what should be the order of, uh, of the workup should be looking into the eyes, it should look into the sinus, uh, you know, because all these things were it could be a, a possible cause of headache. Uh, then you have, um, you know, uh, you know, other things in structurally in the brain. I know there's something called tension headache when people get, you know, stressed and so on, and and claustrophobic, and um, and uh, could be uh, um, an, um, an anxiety related, uh, and it could be also, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, other things like blood clots and so on. So it's not as simple. It's a very very uh, large and a very wide uh, topic 
and it has to be addressed by specialists. It is gonna be like a, have a generic. At least I tried to point out what should be the areas should be checked out to find out the reason for it. And inshallah, inshallah, we make dua for you. Allahumma anta shafi la shifa'a illa shifa'u, shifa'u la yagadar zakhum. May Allah give you a speedy and uh, full recovery, inshallah. I'm going to tell you a problem. Thank you very much. Okay, so... One more, yeah, one more thing. Uh, I, I know, uh, you know, that... Uh, you know, I can tell maybe there's uh, stress going on. There's other, um, you know, issues. Sometimes it's not really a organic uh, disease, uh, but uh, it's affecting the, the how they feel. And it comes very obvious um, psychosomatic uh, uh, disease with uh, either chest pain or headaches or uh, uh, a change in the bowel habits or abdominal pain. Um, you know, all these uh, the things, uh, they may actually, after the workup is negative, they need to, to have, uh, you know, uh, psychological evaluation to see uh, if there are other, you know, mental stress that's causing um, uh, these symptoms. And I find this very, very often. And unfortunately, it took a sharp rise uh, after the pandemic. Two important things I want to add to what Dr. Sultan said for the sister who called earlier. Now, we know that a vaccination is not a guarantee for not to repeat the uh, you know, infection. And Umm Adnan, uh, Sister Umm Adnan last week is a good example of that. Um, I, I will not look into everybody's wallet to see if they have a vaccination card or not. I'm not going to look into the medical record of uh, everybody to see if they have more than 100 uh, diseases as related to the weak immune system that we discussed the, the, the other day. And then uh, more importantly, uh, if uh, they are in a situation where uh, uh, immune system by the medication, uh, of, of, uh, for instance, on steroids or chemotherapy or anything like that. Two important things is somebody just had uh, a pediatric surgery, that, that should be, um, you know, uh, uh, a, like a high risk uh, because of uh, the deficiency in elements and so on that affect the immune system. Although it's a good thing to have the vaccination, I would still uh, be on the cautious side and have the mask on and the same thing if the mom on oxygen uh, she may be on steroid therapy very high likely to be on and that's why I would I would prefer to uh, to have that uh, just to to till we you know get uh, uh, all these facts uh, checked having an, an, a vaccine by itself it's okay but it's not a guarantee uh, you have to look into the overall uh, immune system status and you have to look over into the medication list you have to check into the diagnosis, the medical condition, whether uh, it's uh, um, you know related to immune system suppression or not. So it's not a simple thing. Oh, I took vaccination and I'm, I'm home free. One one last thing that I wanted to say uh, that this came out, and this is also have to do with Islam. Subhanallah, is an association with eating speed and classical heart risk factors. So I know in New York City, everybody's busy. So on the streets, they have this, you know, uh, with having the computer in one hand and having a sandwich and while walking and biting, they may talk on the phone or whatever. But they found that this lifestyle is really associated with increased risk of heart disease. And the best way to do it, like the sunna, you sit down, you eat while you're sitting, not standing, and you drink while sitting, not standing. These are two important things that will have a beneficial effect I thought initially only for the stomach and the GI tract, you know, this way the, the water doesn't just go through you and it will actually, you know, uh, give you, uh, you know, um, hydration and give you, uh, because 80% of the body is water. Uh, but the people who drink while standing, it just goes through them. Uh, the people who drink according to the sunnah on the right hand and you drink one sip and say alhamdulillah and the second, alhamdulillah and the third and after taking a breath in between. That's not, that is, that is, you know, scientifically and, and from a health point of view, view and wellness, it's the best way to do it. I, I really, I like the idea of having sit down together with a bunch of people and then all the food is laid out on big plates and you just put your hand in and, and eat and it's so much fun for me. What do you think about that, Dr. Sultan? Well, that is, that is uh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, 
and uh, just make sure that you're all healthy, you know. Uh, other, other, I mean, this is uh, for people who have, uh, if respiratory infection or other, th other things like that, then it, it, uh, I don't think it is uh, wise to do that. But otherwise, if you're generally healthy, that's, that's the, that's the be best way to do it. I, I was very much impressed by uh, Dr. Adil's uh, comment that, you know, people who are on the go all the time, you know, and eating and drinking and on the go, why does it predis uh, predispose to so I was talking about uh, that what Dr. Adil mentioned that why people on the go have more incident of heart, uh, heart attack and so on and so forth. The reason for that is, you see, our system, autonomic, uh, is, uh, auto function of our body, heart, lungs and stuff like that, it works on autonomic nervous system, which has two branches. One is the uh, sympathetic which is a uh, run and go, you know, uh, uh, on, on the go, uh, get, get you up uh, 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 running, you know. And the second one is the parasympathetic, which is calm, quiet, uh, it, it improves the digestive function. And when you're eating for digesting, you need the stimulation of the parasympathetic nervous system. Uh, and when sympathetic nervous system is activated, parasympathetic goes down. So therefore, when you're eating the food on the go, your sympathetic system is moving. So that puts the system in the uh, overdrive and the food does not get digested properly. It causes uh, so many uh, problems, digestion and other. And if you have got poor digestion, you don't get poor nutrition, you got poor nutrition, you got sickness all over the body, including cardiovascular disease and so on and so forth. So therefore, it is very important that when you are eating uh, as, as uh, we've been taught be calm quiet take your time take your time to uh, eat well. and uh, don't uh, uh, in, indulge in talking don't indulge in uh, watching tv or uh, listening to uh, some uh, something else just focus on so that your parasympathetic nervous system is fully engaged it's it, 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 it turn the system down and uh, activating the digestive system so that you can eat properly and get proper uh, nutrition from that. <coughs> Don't inhale the food, chew the food slowly. And exactly. You know, that, that will help to get the nutrition uh, uh, into the body. Exactly. Well, we had a lot of phone calls tonight, exactly. mashallah. Asana. And we heard about uh, how to eat and we heard about how not to eat. All of these are important things for all of us to think Drink. about. Same and thing, drinking while sitting, not standing. Yeah, remind us about that again. Talk about that. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you get 50 points. Remember, we said that in Ramadan. You know, first, if you if you like to drink and get 50 rewards, uh, for each step of the five, you multiply by 10, so you end up 50 rewards in your pocket, inshallah, in your account with Allah. So, of good deeds. First, to sit down, that's 10. Number two, use the water with the right hand, that's 20. Drink at three uh, steps. You take a sip and pause for a breath. So you take, Bismillah, and then take a breath. Second one, Bismillah, take a, uh, you know, a sip and, and then take a breath. And the third, and then when you're done, say Alhamdulillah. So, if you do those five steps, you're going to end up multiplying by 10. You get 50 rewards, 10 for each each one of them. So sitting down, drinking with the right hand, doing it in three sips rather than gulp. You know, also that that's 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 horrible thing when people just gulp. The you know they have this huge containers and they're still thirsty after drinking all that stuff. They just go with it. That's not good for the for the GI tract or for the body and it just goes through them, you know, you just go straight in, into the bathroom. Nothing gets absorbed into the cells, which you need it most because 80% of the body is, is water. And then when you do this in three steps and you take a breath in between, that helps. So you don't get this huge, um, you know, bloating, um, uh, uh, you know, if you don't uh, breathe in between. And then at the end, you say, Alhamdulillah. You say, thank Allah that provided you with clean drinking water. 
you don't take this for granted because a lot of people don't have that luxury. Well, we have six sunnah of the drinking water on the, and I, I'm trying to figure out what it says. Let me see if I can see this. Um, I'm going to have to pull it up a little bit. Uh, it says six sunnah of drinking water. Number one, drink water with the right hand. Exactly, you said that. Drink water by sitting, you said that too. Start drinking water with saying Bismillah. Oh, yeah, you said that. And see the water before drinking it. Oh, I didn't know about that. Did you know about that one? You have to look at the water before you drink it? Is that the uh, Sunnah? That is, uh, that, uh, that I haven't, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, it makes sense. It makes, it makes sense. sense. When yeah. you pour the water. It does make sense. All right. Yeah. That, then the next one, it said, uh, it, that one is emphasized, so evidently they, they realize that all of us are going to say that. Uh, what the heck? See the water before you drink it. Drink uh, water in in three steps. Well, oh, remind us the three steps you said again. I'm going to do it while Three while sips. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, three sips. It didn't say steps. Alhamdulillah. Sips. Yeah. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Take a breath. Bismillah. Oh, do you have to say Bismillah each time? You can do one for the three. You can do one for each. That's optional. But uh, Bismillah, you know, you have to do it at least once. And yeah. Alhamdulillah, at the, uh, you could do it in every step or at the end. Because you're really, really thanking Allah for, for this. Um, what did you, you say know. at the end? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that's the that that's the sixth one. It says it right there. By the way, you can say looking at it. Well, it could be vodka, right? <laughs> you know, it's it looks exactly like water. But uh, you know, Allah you had it. Well, yeah, Allah actually, had it. Allah <laughs> had it. And I'm not saying I have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> In 1981, I tried to get some water for in New York City. And somebody had it hand in the in the refrigerator. May Allah, you know, forgive them. And then Subhanallah, I I just took it without looking at it, and I just you know, and I just was so tired, and and then it was fire in my mouth. <laughs> it wasn't water. It looked like water, but it wasn't water. You said <laughs> you said. Oh my goodness! You said exactly what they highlighted on that list that we had. Look at it. Yeah, look and at you it. Said I didn't look at it. Yeah, it's not it. Now, now, I'm just saying they looked exactly the same. They looked yeah. exactly the same when I grabbed the, you know. But then now you smell, then you can tell the difference. That's number seven. <laughs> number <laughs> seven is that it's not. Number eight. Taste it before you drink it. <laughs> when, when you're like half asleep, four o'clock, and you just try to get some water for sahur. Yeah, uh, that's. Uh, and it was a long day. It was eighteen hour days fast. This was how a lot, and um, you know. It's 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 important to share this information. It, it may sound trivial, but yeah. now there is a lot of significance uh, scientifically and medically, and from a, a spiritual point of view. When people you know feel like they're actually been watered, the whole body's watered this way. Although it did not take a whole a big amount compared to the big gulp that the people drink, and they still keep gulping, and and they're just you know keep going to the bathroom to get rid of it. And subhanAllah, the body doesn't retain anything. So it's we important. Got, we got to roll out, guys. I just got the oh. word. We got to, oh, mashallah. I was having so much fun with you guys. Mashallah. All right. Next week, we, let's everybody tune in and stay tuned to Guide Us TV because we're going to be going out on Thursday night. We're not going to have the live program. Tomorrow is the last live program for this week. And then on the weekend, we'll have the Sheikh Ahmed who will be conducting the, call, the call-ins, but an hour earlier, hour earlier. It's Yusuf Estes, and I'm looking for something. Actually, I'm looking for someone. Is that someone you? I want Dawa partners, and you can be my Dawa partner right now. It's real easy. 
Just go to DawaPartners.com, sign up, and join me. There are three things that I would like for you to be able to do. Any one of them, or all of them. Beautiful. Number one, you will make dua. So you can be our Dawa partner, even if you don't go to the website, but I hope you do. Number two, share. Share this message and let other people know about becoming Dawa partners. And number three, help us financially. Donate on a monthly basis, even if it's small. Allah loves the thing that you do regularly. Even if it's small, more than the thing that you do that's really big, but you only do it once. Join me as a Dawa partner. Do it now. Click, 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 click. Ooh, ooh, ooh.